Which one's best for me? Howdy everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the differences between RAW and JPEG formats, the, their differences, pros and cons, and what every photographer should know about them in order to fully utilize their potential. So let's go take a look. To give you some background, let's start by showing the differences between the two image formats. So the first difference is gonna be their size. So RAW files are much larger than JPEG because they contain all the RAW image data captured by the camera sensor. Because of their size, shooting in RAW is gonna require a lot bigger memory card and the files are gonna take up a lot more space on your computer as well. And the second difference is going to be processing speed and specific hardware requirements. Since JPEGs have less data, these files are much easier and faster to process. RAW contains more data that needs to be processed before it can be displayed and edited. Now to do so, you're gonna need a more powerful computer and of course it's gonna take longer. Now the third and main difference between JPEG and RAW formats is going to be in the amount of data each one of them contains. So in general, their image quality. Since RAW is a bigger file and can only be processed on a computer, the quality of the resulting photo is completely under your control. You can see this especially in photos with a large dynamic range or a large difference between the darkest and lightest parts of the photograph. Now these differences help us decide when to shoot in RAW format or in JPEG. Now if you're shooting simple scenes with good lighting conditions and you don't plan to edit the photo very much or you just don't want to spend a lot of time editing, JPEG is going to be your friend here. On the other hand, if you're taking pictures that are very important to you or your clients where you can't afford any mistakes and you got to focus on every single detail or even you might be shooting in challenging conditions, RAW is going to be a much better choice for you, even if it means a lot more time in post-production. So as we said, RAW formats are basically a bunch of unedited image data that you as the photographer have to mold into the final product. Now Zona Photo Studio X is gonna take this RAW file and give you a default starting base, but the rest is going to be up to you. And the fact that we're using such a huge amount of data allows us to really manipulate and play around with images that might not even have been very good to begin with. Now let's take a look at an example photo to see how shooting in RAW can actually save us when we didn't do such a good job of setting up for our initial photo in the first place. Okay, so I've got my JPEG photo open in the develop module. Now it has dark and noticeably overexposed areas. So I'm going to use the shortcut Shift plus O to have Zona Photo Studio X display the blowouts. Now if I want to lower exposure or lights for this image, it's going to lower the brightness levels in the overexposed areas but I can't see the details. And I never will because there's no image data to show these details. And that's why JPEG files are so small. Now let's take a look at a raw file. Now when I lower the exposure, we can see that the image data is there. And now I can see the clouds that were previously overexposed. I can make appropriate adjustments using a combination of exposure, lights, as well as shadows. And now compare the two. You can clearly see that the raw image turned out a lot better than the JPEG counterpart because we were able to use the data from the raw file that just simply wasn't there in the JPEG. We can salvage underexposed parts of an image in a very similar way. And we also take advantage of the fact that the JPEGs from the camera already have noise removed. But by pulling up the shadows, we add the noise back into the photo. Now with raw, the noise only appears during our editing, so we have a lot more control over the final result. Now RAW formats are not some end-all be-all, all-powerful thing that you can utilize to save a photo that was taken with incredibly bad camera settings. That's not something that it's gonna help you. But just if you're unsure or unclear on how to properly set up your camera, we've already done a video on that and you'll find a link below in the description. Now if you're still not sure which format suits you best, that can happen. I got some good news for you. Pretty much all of modern cameras nowadays have the option of selecting both JPEG and RAW. That means that when you click the shutter, the camera's gonna save it in both formats so you don't have to have this hard option anymore. The camera does it for you. Cameras have this option labeled as RAW plus Fine or something similar like we have here. Fine and other options indicate JPEG quality. We recommend setting JPEG quality as high as possible. 
Mobile and cell phones often support RAW format, so the exact same thing can be set on your mobile photo. Just keep in mind that this mode is going to use even more memory than shooting just in RAW. After all, you're storing two files in one place. Now the good thing is, is that you can group both of these together in Zonar Photo Studio X. You don't have to have a separate RAW or JPEG file, but actually they can be combined as a single file, which helps with space, of course. Now we can group images by clicking display and sorting in the navigation panel. You can see RAW plus JPEG, JPEG plus RAW, and do not group. The first two options mean that one of the two files is going to take precedence, and you can choose which one it's going to be. I'm going to go with JPEG plus RAW, which means that JPEG is going to be our priority. And now that my photos are grouped, you can see that one of the formats has a white background on the thumbnail. This means that this is the preferred format and the one you are currently editing. If during the editing process though, you realize that JPEG is just not going to cut it, you can easily switch to RAW in the right panel under the histogram. You can see the option to move, copy, or delete your adjustments. You can also see the thumbnail has changed to indicate which format has priority. Now, you can also turn off the grouping option. Select the photo or photos that you don't want to be grouped, right click and select prevent RAW and JPEG grouping. This gives you both formats as separate images side by side, which you can work with separately. So now you know what some of the base differences are between RAW and JPEG and what format is gonna suit you and what you do best. Hope this was useful for you. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know what you think below. Hit the subscribe bell so you never miss another video. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care. Bye.